These are devotions for people at a social distance. Well, today the news is rather distressing, discouraging to hear that what appears to be a pretty large-scale invasion of Ukraine by Russia is underway. And this is sort of the most real specter of war that we've seen in a long time. And obviously, we pray for the people of Ukraine today. We pray for that whole region. We pray for peace. Uh, but I also wanted to uh, take the opportunity to reflect on a passage of scripture that I often turn to in times of war. It's from Joshua chapter 5, starting at verse 13. Once, when Joshua was near Jericho, so just before the beginning of his grand invasion, his grand attack, he looked up and saw a man standing before him with a drawn sword in his hand. Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you one of us or one of our adversaries? This is kind of a normal thing to do. You know, you're in a military camp, you're out wandering around, you see somebody you don't recognize, you go up to them and you ask, are you a friend or are you a foe? Uh, but the answer is rather stunning. He replied, neither but as commander of the army of the Lord, I have now come. So uh, on the eve of a battle, on the eve of a war, God shows up in the Israelite camp the answer, the question that, that is raised, is the question is always raised on the eve of war, right? Are you with us or against us? Are you on our side, God? And uh, I know the answer we always reach for is, yes, God is on our side. God has to be on our side. We are in the right. And I know there are people in Russia, maybe especially Putin, who is saying that right now. There are definitely people in the Ukraine who are uh, reaching for God and God's support, understandably, of course. But the answer is neither. The answer is neither. God does not enter into our wars, does not enter into our battles, as we certainly does not see them as we see them, does not take sides as we take sides. This is important. This is very significant. And uh, when we assume God to be on our side, we fail to step back and see the larger picture of, of the agendas that God has. And, and the agendas God has is for the people, is for, uh, for, for what is right and just and good, is often to, uh, to opt for the side of those who are most weak in this battle, in this situation. Uh, God doesn't take sides as we take sides. And let's never forget that, my dear friends. Lord, our God, we pray for the people in the Ukraine, especially who are in a very, very vulnerable position. We pray for all who are caught up in war and violence today. We pray for life. We pray for hope. We pray even now for resolutions that leads to peace for people. Thank you that, that you have an agenda that is not Russia's agenda, that is not Ukraine's agenda, that is not the West's agenda, that you have a, an agenda. Let us be on your side and not seek to, to find out whether you're on our side. Amen.